and welcome. My name is Prue or Prue LaRue. And today I'm going to be playing with some goodies from Flower Beauty, who just re recently launched in Australia, I believe 1st of January in Chemist Warehouse. I'll put the Reddit link down of the post that has all the locations that they are stocked in because they're not in every single chemist warehouse in Australia yet. I believe if you're in the US, they are in Walmart and I don't know if they've hit UK yet. But I'm super excited to play with them. I didn't buy a full face of Flower Beauty. To be honest, I'm just like a bit stingy bow. I just wanted to try the products I wanted to try. The stuff that's already on my face will be listed down below and I'll list the stuff that we put on as well. So I have already primed my eyes with the NARS Tinted Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base in Light. I feel like all my shades are light these days. So I picked up the Flower Blush Pot in... What is it? I don't know if it says the colour. I've already set up unpackaged it, but you can kind of see what's going on. This is Flower Pot's Powder Blush in Peach Primrose. So this went for $13.99, which was like one of the more expensive products I bought. And I bought it because it sort of had like a peach, like an apricot vibe to me. I've been reading sort of, the Making Faces by Kevin O'Conn lately, and I just decided I really wanted an apricot blush because he mentions it a lot in his videos. So let's dip in my first roll with this. I'm mean, here for it. That's fun. But this is a shade that I don't really have in my collection and so I was excited to add it in. And this is one of my Jessup brushes that I just love. Do, 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 do. Hmm. I don't know if I love like apricot peachy prismary colors on me. Let me know what you think of this blush. Love to hear your thoughts. And then I'm going to put lips on. So I picked up two lip products and I've got this pack. I'm going to start with this one. I'm going to put, it is Peach Posy. It's got the cool logo here. There you go. Can I see it? And it's very strongly attached. It's got like clips going on here that you can see that holds it in. The shade and a swatch. So I'm going to start with this one. This just looks like a sheer formula and that's going to be much easier to remove than the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. This was $9.99. So I was really impressed with how cheap they still managed to maintain it, even in Australian prices. Yeah, it's nice. So I think I'll do eyes and then at the end I'll change into this lip. And this was a cool idea that I hadn't really seen, but it's got the matte liquid lip and then it's got a gloss. I picked up Tickled Pink and here it is here. So You've got this side, which is a liquid lip. It's kind of got like a metallic vibe to it. And then on this side, this is a lip, which seems quite dark. So the idea is you put this one on and then that one on top. So I'm keen to give it a try. I think it's just like a really fun idea. That went for $9.99. So I've picked up the Flower Eyeshadow Shade and Shimmer Palette. And on the back, it's got some eye looks you can do and then I'm gonna try this one is shooting star it's a very shimmery palette I think there's like two mattes in here but other than that they are all shimmers they swatch really nicely and I'm excited to try it it's also got the silly thing that tells you that the brush is worth six dollars our shimmer and shade eyeshadow palette features 10 flattering intense shades to mix and layer using our professional grade eyeshadow brush crafted from the finest man-made hair so I'm excited to just give this little brush a go and I thought I'll pull out my little color cleany thing and just use the same brush. And the final product I picked up, Glossy Gel Eyeliner in Purple Quartz. This was $7.99 and the eyeshadow palette was $13.99. So this is what it looks like and then especially yeah, I so it's like really nice and creamy and it really reminded me of my Marc Jacobs one. The glitz all right. Well, there's a big difference, but it does have that same sort of shimmer payoff and creaminess level. I'm intrigued. So going in, they've just numbered them and it says number one inner corner and under brow. I'm just going to go in with that one to start off with. And that is this fella here. And this is one of our matte shades. We got a whole heap of kick up already. So you can see. Mm. 
So I just really wanted to do this video to welcome my new subscribers who've been popping by. Uh, this week was super exciting and Angelica and I quest actually did mine and Annette's tag, the behind the scenes of YouTube tag. And she said my name on her channel. It was like just the, I don't know, it was such a cool feeling and it was I was so excited when I saw it pop up. But unfortunately I haven't been too on the, like I just haven't been very good with my uploads this week. I've been on night shift since I did Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday night. So it's Saturday afternoon now and I'm only just now starting to feel a bit normal. I do have two videos already filmed, but I really felt like I needed to do a like, oh my God, like thank you so much for dropping by. Thank you so much for subscribing to those who did. I really hope you like what you see and you stick around. I'm super excited to welcome you. I also, <laughs> I love hearing people say my uh, profile name, which is Prularoo. I am Australian and it comes from, so it, it actually dates back. Do you remember when people used to do those in the newspaper, they would write into their loved ones and put messages in there for Valentine's Day. And there was one, it was ages ago when I was a kid and it was Prularoo, I do love you. It was just this cute little rhyme and my sister and my mum kept it up for a while and then we sort of stopped using it but it sort of always stayed with me and I always think of it it's like Prularoo loves kangaroos like kangaroo because I'm Australian you get it <laughs> so if you're wondering that's sort of where it comes from and that's why I've kept it up because I thought it was funny I'll insert a little picture of a banner too <laughs> that I um created ages ago but I didn't like and I didn't keep but I'd love to maybe do one like a bit better but uh, let me know what you think so it just took a little while for the pigment to really build up on this but you can see it is kind of there well, let's go into the next color and that is number nine over lid and softly uh, above crease so there wasn't that much pigment on that I'm not gonna clean this one off but we are going into Leave the silver shade. All right, so it's just silver. It just looks a bit different on the back. I was just checking. Not as much kick up on this one. This brush does feel really nice and versatile. I do like it. I just think it's an interesting marketing marketing technique to say it's worth six dollars, when obviously it's not. Otherwise, you wouldn't put it in the palette. So that was number nine, all over the lid and softly in the thing. Number six, out of corner. This is like this bluey shade right here. I'm hoping you got the numbers right. I think I did. So this is another shimmer shade. Oh yeah, I did plan on cleaning these brushes, I swear. Um, it's being a bit patchy. Mm, it's coming in. Um, so I've got two videos, I think, pre-filmed. I just haven't got around to editing them. Night Shift Pre has not been in the mood. So I'm going to post this one up. And then I've also got my Mecca Beauty box that I will post up right after this video. I just will film this directly after. But I thought I'll put them separately just in case you're not interested. Because, you know. I love unboxing those boxes and it's fun. If you're already on my Instagram though, you've already seen it. <laughs> I'm just going to deepen a little bit more and I just want to deepen that up a little bit more. It just went on really nicely on this side. Alright, so this time I'm going to clean the brush off. And we have got number seven upper and lower lash lines and this is uh, black oh okay this kind of makes sense i think this is where i would change out brush it's just that's yeah that's not what this is meant to be for and i'm just gonna quickly clean up this a bit wow 
that glitter has gone everywhere. <laughs> I'm just going to go quickly uh, just clean that off and redo the concealer and we'll be back. All right, so I just reapplied that blush a little bit more and I also took off my lip. So before we continue, let's try this one on. I went on really nicely, but I do just personally like feel like I have like small hands and it's just a bit awkward to put um to play with such a big device. Let's put that on the center for a little bit of shine. All right, so let's go in with that blackish shade. I'm going to pull out um, I'm gonna use my smudger 226 from Jessup, which is just like one of those smudgy brushes. So I'm gonna go upper and lower lash lines. And I will say it's partially my fault that I um, had to redo like that part of my eyeshadow. I should have known just playing the new eyeshadows to lay down the powder base so I could wipe it away easier. And I know when it says under the lash line, I probably should tight line. I'm not game to get to tight lining, but I think what I did was okay. I just want to bring this, I just want to blend this out a little bit more. So yeah. And just blend this in a bit better up here. Cause what have I done here? So let's go back with our flower beauty brush and just see if I can blend this in. I'm going to go back into that shade for the outer corner. All right, so this side is just looking a little bit sad. And as I've blended out that shade, glitter has fallen. I'm just going to ignore that though. And then it had that shade for the inner corner, which was number one. And matte. I've never really put matte in my inner corner, but you know, they told me to, so I'll do it. So let's just use this pointy brush. Ooh. <laughs> that is such a... Uh, such a powdery shade. All right, I kind of get like where this look was going and their vision. Let's bring this. Easy, we've just created a nice little contour, but we do have that glitter fallout there. And the eye as well. I think the Blush is definitely really nice. It's sort of growing on me the more I look at it. And it's quite pigmented, which is kind of cool to see. The lip products feel really nice, light, and it still hasn't dried down, but it's more, it just feels smooth, not too heavy on the lips. Eyeshadow wise, fair amount of fallout so far. And I think it's like a very, this is a very work esque palette i think i definitely will play with this a bit more for work looks but it's definitely not a palette i would have bought except i just really wanted to play with flower beauty shades and i totally forgot <laughs> liner and mascara i also took a bit of a break off wearing makeup this week uh just because i had a huge outbreak of pimples so i didn't wear any to work all week So forgive me for being a little out of practice. Alright, and then, then I'm just going to duck off camera quickly and do my mascara. So sticking with my drugstore vibe, I went into my L'Oreal Lash Paradise mascara for the first time. And I believe this that is my only drugstore mascara in my collection and I've not tried it. 
So let's bring you in again now that the look is finished. I just I I'm not really sure how I could like I mean I could go on the concealer again and clean that up, but I, to be honest, I don't feel like doing that. And just let's just look at this eye. So we got a bit of that glitter fallout. It's looking a bit fresher with some mascara. And it's nice. I think I'm definitely interested to maybe try some more of these little liners. It was creamy. Definitely doesn't have the same staying power as the Marc Jacobs, but for a drugstore at like $8, uh, yeah. Um, and it looked like she had some really cool colors. Definitely some cool colors in the lips, and this does feel really nice. I will let you know how it wears down below. Um, and yeah, I'm just super excited. I absolutely love Drew Barrymore. I'm super excited that her makeup line has finally launched in Australia. I actually never thought that would happen. I didn't expect it. So it was really cool. And this was one of the brands I wanted to try in 2019. And we're already there. It's only January. <laughs> There's definitely a few more brands to go on my list. But I'm excited to get one down. And I'm definitely excited to play with this palette a little bit more for some more workish looks and see what the wearing power of the eyeshadow is. Also on that note, you might have noticed, I usually do wear tests at the end of some of my looks and those have kind of disappeared at the moment. I've kind of decided to put them all in like a conglomerate video and also it just saves me having to film it every single time I film a look. So what you will eventually see is like a breakdown with the MAC paint pot and how the eyeshadows wore, the NARS smudge proof how they wore, um, the Urban Decay primer and I'll do that in a big video so you can see the different formulas compared to each other and how they wore because the primer does play a role. It's just true. So I'm really looking forward to finishing it up but that video is going to take me probably months because I want to like have as many brands as possible tried with each different primer. So I hope you're looking forward to that. Thank you so much for being one of my OG subscribers. Thank you to, so much to the new subscribers. It's been crazy just seeing me like slowly creep up and I know I'm such a baby YouTuber and it just, it means the absolute world to me that you thought to, you thought to subscribe. So thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed. I absolutely love, appreciate and adore you. Mwah.